Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2022. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering in Jeremiah 40 through 42 and Hebrews 4. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Jeremiah Freed, Jeremiah 40. The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord of Lord after Nebuchadnezzar, commander of the Imperial Guard, had released him at Ramah. He had found Jeremiah bound in chains among all the captives from Jerusalem to Judea, who were being carried into exile to Babylon. When the commander of the guard found Jeremiah, he said to him, The Lord your God decreed this disaster for this place, and now the Lord has brought it about, and he has done just as he said he would. All this happened because your people sinned against the Lord and did not obey him. But today I am freeing you from the chains on your arms. Come with me to Babylon, if you like, and I will look after you. But if you do not want to, then don't come. Look, the whole country lies before you. Go wherever you please. However, before Jeremiah turned to go, Nebuchadnezzar added, Go back to Gideheli, son of Ahachim, the son of Shaphan whom the king of Babylon has appointed over the towns of Judea, and live with him among the people, or go anywhere else you please. Then the commander gave him provisions and a present, and let him go. So Jeremiah went to Gedaliah, son of Ahakam, at Mezbah. They stayed and he stayed with him among the people who were left behind in the land. Gehilda assassinated. When all of the army officers and their men who were still in the open country heard that the king of Babylon had appointed Gehilda, son of Ahikam, as governor over the land and had put him in charge of the men, women, and children who were the poorest in the land and who had not been carried into exile by Babylon, they came to Gehelia as and Mesva, Ishmael, son of Nathania, Johan, and Jonathan, the sons of Kira, Sahirai, son of Tanerhel, and the uh, the Mechahiathite and their men uh, Gilodal, son of Ahakam, the son of Shephan, took an oath to reassure them and their men, do not be afraid to serve the Babylonians. He said, settle down in the land and serve the king of Babylon, and it will go well with you. I myself will stay at Mesva to re represent you before the Babylonians who came to us. But you are to harvest the wine, summer fruit, and olive oil, and put them in your storage jars, and live in the towns you have taken over. When the Jews in Moab, Ammon, Adam, and all the other countries heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant in Judea and had appointed Gedaliah, son of Ahakim, the son of Shechem, as governor over them, they all came back to the land of Judea, to Gedaliah at Mezpah, from all the countries where they had been scattered, and they harvested an abundance of wine and summer fruit. Jehonan, son of Kerah, and all the army officers still in the open country 
came to Kedalia at Mezpah and said to him, Don't you know that Umbalus, king of the Amorites, has sent Ishmael, son of Nathanian, to take your life? But Gedaliah, son of Ahakim, did not believe them. Then Johanan, son of Kerath, said privately to Gedaliah in Mezpah, Let me go and kill Ishmael, son of Nathanian, and no one will know it. Why should he take your life and cause all the Jews who are gathered around you to be scattered and the remnant of Judea to perish. But Gedalia son of Ahakim said to Jeh- Jehonan son of Keresh, Do not do such a thing. Why? Uh, what you are saying about Ishmael is not true. Jeremiah 41 In the seventh month, Ishmael son of Nathaniah, the son of Ishama, who was of royal blood and had been one of the king's officers, came with ten men to Gehelia, son of Achikam, at Mezpah. While they were eating together there, Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, and the ten men who were with him got up and struck down Gedaliah, son of Ahakim, the son of Shephan, with the sword, killing the one whom the king of Babylon had appointed as governor over the land. Ishmael also killed all the men of Judea who were with uh, Gilhelia at Mesva, as well as the Babylonian soldiers who were there. The day after Gedaliah's assassination, before anyone knew about it, eighty men who had shaved off their beards, tore their clothes, and cut themselves came from Shishkim, Shiloh, and Samaria, bringing grain offerings and incense with them to the house of the Lord. Ishmael, son of Nathanael, went out from Mespa to meet them, weeping as he went. When he met them, he said, Come to Gedalia, son of Ahakim. When they went into the city, Ishmael, soon, uh, Ishmael son of Nathanael, and the men who were with him slaughtered them and threw them into a cistern. But ten of them said to Ishmael, Don't kill us. We have wheat and barley, olive oil and honey, hidden in a field. So he let them alone and did not kill them with the others. Now the cistern where he threw all the bodies of the men he had killed, along with Gedaliah's, was the one King Asiah had made as part of his defense against Basha, king of Israel. Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, filled it with the dead. Ishmael made captives of all the rest of the people who went in Mithra. The king's daughters, along with all the others who were left there, over whom Nebuchadnezzar, commander of the imperial guard, had appointed Gedaliah, son of Ahakam. Ishmael, son of Nathan, took them captive and set out to cross over the Ammonites. When Jahana, son of Terah, and all the army officers who were with him heard about all the criminal uh, crimes that Ishmael, son of Nathan, had committed, they took all their men and they went to fight Ishmael, son of Nathan. They caught up with him near the great pool in Gibeon. When all the people Ishmael had with him saw Jehonah, son of Terah, 
and the army officers who were with him, they were glad. All the people Ishmael had taken captive at Methuselah turned and went over to Jordan, uh, Jehonah, son of Kerah, but Ishmael, son of Nathan, and eight of his men escaped from Jehonah and fled to the Ammonites. Fight to Egypt. Flight to Egypt. Then Johanna, son of Kerah, and all the army officers who were with him led away all the people of Mesfa who had survived, whom Johanna had recovered from Ishmael, son of Nathana, after Ishmael had assassinated Yedhelia, son of Ahakim. The soldiers whom uh, soldiers, women, children, and court officials had uh, he had recovered from Gibeon, and they went on stopping at Geruf Kimaham near Bethlehem on their way to Egypt to escape the Babylonians. They were afraid of them because Ishmael, son of Nathan, had killed. Gedaliah, son of Ahakim, whom the king of Babylon had appointed as governor over the land. Jeremiah 42. Then all the army of officers, including Johanna, son of Kerah, and Jezanah, son of Hoshahiah, and all the people from the least to the greatest approached Jeremiah and uh, the prophet, and they said to him, Please hear our petition and pray to the Lord your God for this entire remnant. For as you know and as you now see, though we were once many, now only a few are left. Pray that the Lord your God will tell us where we should go and what we should do. I have heard you, replied Jeremiah the prophet. I will certainly pray to the Lord your God as you have requested. I will tell you everything the Lord says and will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, May the Lord be a true and second I'm lost there okay there we go um, Hebrews 4 5 they said to Jeremiah may the Lord be a, tr a true and faithful witness against us if we do not act in accordance with everything the Lord your God sends you to tell us. Whether it is favorable or unfavorable, we will obey the Lord our God, to whom we are sending you, so that it will go well with us, for we will obey the Lord our God. Ten days later, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. So he called together Jehonan, son of Terah, and all the army official officers who were with him, and all the people from the least to the greatest. He said to them, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, Again, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, to whom you sent me, to present your petition says if you stay in the, this land I will build you up and not tear you down I will plant you and not uproot you for I have relented concerning the disaster I have inflicted on you do not be afraid of the king of Babylon 
whom you now fear. Do not be afraid of him, declares the Lord, for I am with you and will save you and deliver you from his hands. I will show you compassion so that he will have compassion on you and restore you to your land. However, if you say we will not stay in this land and so disobey the Lord your God, and if you say no, we will go and live in Egypt where we will not see war or hear the trumpet or be hungry for bread, then hear the word of the Lord. You remnant of Judea, Hebrews 4.15 Then hear the word of the Lord. You remnant of Judea, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. If you are determined to go to Egypt and you do not, and you do go to settle there, then the sword you fear will overtake you there, and the famine you dread will follow you into Egypt, and there you will die. Indeed, all who are determined to go to Egypt to settle there will die by the sword, famine, and plague. Not one of them will survive or escape the disaster. I will bring on them this is uh, the disasters that I will bring on them. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. As my anger and wrath have been pured, poured out, on those who lived in Jerusalem, so will my wrath be poured out on you when you go to Egypt. You will be a curse, an object of horror, a curse and an object of a reproach. You will never see this place again. Remnant of Judea, the Lord has told you, do not go to Egypt. Be sure of this. I warn you today that you made a fatal mistake when you sent me to the Lord your God and said pray to the Lord our God for us tell us everything he says and we'll, we will do it I have told you today but you still have not obeyed the Lord your God in all he sent me to tell you so now be sure of this you will die by the sword famine and plague in the place where you want to go to settle. And that was Hebrews 4, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Jeremiah 43 through 45 and Hebrews 5. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. Um, Father, hmm, I just thank you for your word. For if it were not for your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. So I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Again, thank you folks for tuning in, and please like and share.